Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Lubin Bonsejour of Wallingford. Scripture reference is Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23, or response to God's faithfulness. Recognizing and understanding God's faithfulness, really, that call for an intentional and heartfelt response from all of us. Here are some key ways that we can really respond to his unwavering commitment to us. See, gratitude and worship, for me, is, is, is our first response to acknowledge God's faithfulness in our lives. That will actually lead us to worship him. Psalm 100 verse 4 kind of encourages us to enter his gate with what? With thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Regularly expressing our thanks through prayer and worship that help cultivate a heart that really recognizes his goodness, truth, and faith. Trusting in God's faithfulness is essential, especially during challenging times. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 remind us that to trust in the Lord with not some, but with all of our hearts, and to lean not in our own understanding. So when we place our faith in his promises, we affirm our belief that he will provide, that he will guide and protect us, regardless of our circumstances. What about obedience? Responding to God's faithfulness involves really living in the obedience of his word. Here's what Jesus says in John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, says Jesus, keep my commandment. Our obedience reflects our trust in him and our desire to align our lives with his will for us. It's actually demonstrate that we believe his ways are best and that we acknowledge his authority over our lives. That's obedience. What about sharing testimonies? Well, that too, experience of God's faithfulness with, all, with others encouraged and strengthening our faith and the faith of those around us when they're here, we're telling them the good news about God. Revelation 12, 11 stated the following that believers should need to understand because we overcome, right, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies, testifying about God, how God has been faithful to us, how he's been good to us in our lives, not only glorify God, but also inspires others to trust God and his faithfulness. So let's go and tell others about God's goodness, grace, and mercy, and then serving in love. See, God's faithfulness involves serving other people and expressing love to those around us also. Galatians 5.13, we are reminded, serve one another humbly in love. As we reflect on how God himself has been faithful to us, we are called to extend that faithfulness to acts of kindness, support, and compassion towards others. Last but not least, living in hope. Finally, our response include living in a hope and assurance. God's faithfulness ensure us that he is always working for our good. Even when we cannot see it. We can't see it, but we know he's working in the background for you and for me. Women chapter, uh, Romans 15 verse 13. He encourages us to overflow with hope and by the power of the Holy Spirit. By embracing his Hope, this hope, this great hope, we can navigate life's uncertainties with, obedience, with confidence, knowing that he got our back. So allow me to encourage you today, my dear listeners, and remember, our faithfulness to God is a response to his unchanging nature of love. Let's pray. Father, you are faithful. You are great, and there is no one like you. Give us the boldness to share the good news, to let, let the whole world know how much you mean to us. In Jesus' name, amen. You've been listening to Pastor Lubin Beausejour of Wallingford. 
And this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.